Hey YouTube, what's going on? If your vehicle has faded letters, check this out. Hey YouTube, what's going on? I recently had a good luck uh, scenario with uh, something I purchased um, on eBay. Uh, they were badges for the Range Rover. If you've got a vehicle that's got faded badges and making it look horrible, um, you've probably often gone on there, maybe saw that they were on there and wondered, hey, are these any good or should I go to the dealership and purchase um, these high priced badges? I can only imagine what a set of Range Rover letters would cost you from Land Rover. Um, so we gave it a shot. We, the, uh, the letters on our uh, Range Rover Sport were silver and faded. And uh, on eBay, you've got a lot of different options. A lot of people are actually making them in gloss black. So we did that because we have a black car. Um, and I think they came out great. So here's a little bit about it. One thing I forgot to mention, so I'm slipping this uh, piece in, is anytime you put something like this on your vehicle, uh, it's all about prep. You have to make sure the surface has been completely cleaned from like grease, wax, and everything. Um, you know, after like, uh, you know, I did clay bar, I did rubbing compound, and the final thing was actually alcohol, rubbing alcohol to clean the entire surface to get it perfect. And then I actually warmed up my surfaces uh, before I stick these emblems on there. Um, and then, I'm, and then I make sure that they're completely on there. But anyways, it's all about prep. Anyway, this on next the video. Uh, video was originally meant to be an install video, but I'm going to show it to you so that you can at least kind of get an idea of the quality of what you receive as far as the template and everything else. This set, and uh, I think a lot of them say they do come with it, uh, came with this template. So you can see what I did is basically, you, I, what, what made it easy, I did take measurements for where the letters were originally, uh, but no matter, you know, after two or three times compounding, I still had little marks where the old letters were. So it was actually pretty easy, and this template was the exact size of the original letters, which I was happy about. So I took the white template, actually this side you can see is done. Um, so I took the, the template, template for this side I did the same thing I did uh, painters tape and basically it was funny it was good the top of the template lined right up with this round crease in the back um, so I had a, I had originally taken a measurement from the bottom and I wrote that down but this worked out perfect you know so uh, de depending on the set of letters you get and um, and, and what you get with yours, you might want to take measurements and stuff like that. Um, then once that was in place, I actually, it's New England right now, it's about 50 degrees out. I like to to warm everything up. I think everything's easier to work with when it's uh, warm. So I took a blow dryer and I blow dried the surface and I blow dried the back of the, um, the tape uh, where the letters were. And then I just peeled the letters off one by one and stuck them in. And then I started from the middle and pressed out to make sure these were completely uh, sealed down and there's probably no air bubbles now in the bottom. Did that two or three times, I'm OCD, so I kept doing it and doing it. Uh, and uh, I'm fairly certain and I'm very happy with how these came out. I really don't, I think this is gonna last. So, uh, but that's about it. Uh, let me show you the finished product. Uh, once I'm all done, uh, what I'll do is I'll insert a slide at the very end of this, so you'll probably see that about now. Mm -hmm. 